morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I have been doing a lot of research online, and I've noticed that I see a lot of people um, removing the clutch spring within the BRZ. Um, I'm going to try my hands at this today. I'm going to venture out there and see what it's all about. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, it makes it just feel better, um, way less assisted. Uh, I don't know, uh, but you know what? It's a free mod, and I don't really like the clutch. To be honest, it's very... Uh, this feels very beginnerish. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we're gonna go out and we're gonna see um, and see if we can get this removed. Hopefully, you know, I've, I've heard it takes around well, like 10, 15 minutes to do. Um, I like little things like this, removing um, factory parts that actually make it feel more of like a driver's car. So that's what we're gonna do today. And you guys are gonna watch, Just stay tuned. So after I recovered my screwdriver from rolling underneath the car, um, we are going to now venture into removing clutch spring found right here. Um, okay, how did that I thought it would be? Without a doubt. Take two, ladies and gentlemen. After further review, I did find out that we have to remove that C clamp, and that's the reason why I'm running into so much trouble here. So C clamp is So you want to get like, you just want to pop out this, this little, I don't know. Just hope somebody doesn't hit my door, because if they do, I will die. I will be dead. It's just the hardest part of trying to get underneath that, dude. It'll be easier if I actually like remove my seat. Ladies and gents, we ran into some problems. Um, I think I'm gonna need to remove my seat. Myself in the fucking mouth with the hammer. Ow. Yep, this little guy right here is what you need to get rid of. Just slowly work its way towards the driver's side door. Getting that seat clamp off is definitely an accomplishment. Once you do that, you have to then get this thing out. And this is what's holding in the clutch spring to the clutch pedal. So you guys are gonna see me just kind of pop the clutch spring up once this has been removed. I, again, I am sorry that I did not film the heart of this in the sense of um, getting this, uh, you know, removed. My phone died. Um, so you guys are just gonna see kind of the aftermath here. All right, so as you guys see, it's almost off. You just need to, ow. You need to just get this thing off here. It's just, it's just stuck. It's just stuck, man. It just doesn't want to come off. And I'm really excited. Oh, my God. 
and it just clicked right back into place. God damn it, man. To be continued, just, you guys know what to do at this point. You gotta pop that thing off. So, I'm sorry, this is a, I try to make this as complete as could be. It's really hard to film yourself and do this shit at the same time, so. And it has been removed. The tools that I use, I use a flat bar. Hammer didn't really work. Flat bars, you know, just getting that, this little guy underneath there. You guys, if you're here, if you're watching, please, please, you know, if you're watching the video, just subscribe. You're already here. Just, just one more button. I know you've clicked a bunch of links to get to this video. So while you're here, just subscribe and throw a thumbs up, please. Support your boy. All of the support is much, much appreciated. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, you guys have watched The White Wizard. This has been a how-to video from me. Um, you guys show me love and I will show it right back. Thank you so much for tuning in today. You guys have a great day. Look at all that dirt. Ooh, I'm rich. I'm rich, bitch. That's a cheeseburger right there. Oh, oh, wait, no, that's a hamburger. That's the cheese. <laughs>